One of the most delicate subjects relating to Obamacare is birth control and abortion coverage. Correspondent Shannon Bream has new information tonight about why some people are fighting even harder against the health care overhaul. With the next Obamacare implementation milestone less than two weeks away, pro-life advocates say they have uncovered numerous provisions in the health care law that will force taxpayers and or business owners to fund the cost of abortions. I think it's extreme to impose coverage for abortion and for life-ending drugs on Americans who simply want to live the way we always have in this country other people's rights to their own rights of conscience. One key concern is the HHS contraception mandate, which will require employers to make sure employees have access to health insurance coverage that provides cost-free contraception. Critics argue that will include drugs that can cause abortions. Dozens of legal challenges to the mandate are pending across the country, and the issue appears to be on the fast track to the U.S. Supreme Court. But that's not the only area of concern for pro-life critics, who also argue that federally subsidized health plans will provide abortion coverage through state exchanges. An HHS spokesperson says the health care law does not allow federal funds to be used for elective abortion coverage, and quote, the longstanding Hyde Amendment prohibits federal funding for abortion except in cases of rape, incest, or endangerment of the life of the woman. It's a great myth that the Hyde Amendment actually covers Obamacare. It doesn't. And multiple ways that they have managed to find ways to integrate anti-life provisions into the weave and the warp of this bill means that the American taxpayer ends up paying um, for abortion. HHS also points to the executive order President Obama signed on March 24, 2010, which was meant to address the concerns of pro-life Democrats, led by then-Congressman Bart Stupak, concerned that federal money Money would fund abortions. Most view that executive order as the key to locking in the critical votes needed to pass Obamacare in the House. And while Stupak says he doesn't regret his vote when it comes to the HHS contraception mandate that flows from the law, he calls that, quote, illegal. Brett? Shannon, thank you. The nation's largest drugstore chain is sending employees to a private health insurance exchange. Walgreens Company is the latest to switch. Workers will be allotted a specific amount of money and must pick their own coverage. Private exchanges are similar to the Obamacare public exchanges that will debut October 1st. Still